Good morning, my ravens. I'm just living the no umbrella life. You know, the huge peeps be wearing umbrellas. Umbrellas don't apply to me. I'm not part of the system. JK, if you need umbrellas, that's cool too, you know. I'm not gonna hate on you. Look at those umbrellas, no umbrellas. I'm just a bad ass like that. No. Uh, for real though, if you need umbrellas, that's why they were made. I just don't like them. It's a personal choice. It's a personal preference because I like to keep my hands free. Hi guys. <laughs> so day one of the experiment or challenge of not touching my phone in bed went really well. The only time I looked at my phone is when I woke up to pee around 1.30. And I heard my mom, I heard my dad say goodnight to my mom. And I was like, wait a minute, did they just pray and sleep? Because if they prayed and slept, that means it's around 5.30 or so. Which means I only have like an hour or so of sleep left. So I was just curious about how much sleep I still get to have. And that's the only time I literally peeked at my phone for the time and put it away. Um, I definitely do think it makes a difference. My eyes are less heavy than they usually are. I did have difficulty going to sleep. So I may need to do what is recommended um, of not using my phone 30 minutes before bedtime, which means around 9 o'clock, 9.15, I should be sending all my like goodnight messages, and uh, doing anything else on my phone that I need to be doing. And that's that. So that's gonna be another thing I need to implement. But you know what? It's, it's fine. We are learning things day by day. I'm making changes day by day and I'm really trying. So day one has been great. I'm gonna really try to, inshallah, to do it tonight as well. Um, I am grateful for, what am I grateful for? I'm grateful for my mom. She woke up this morning and she came to see me off because she knows that yesterday I had a rough day. And she came by with such empathy and kindness and she's like, I know you're tired and I'm sorry that you have, you're, that, that you're going, that you have to go, but I hope you have a good day. Like so sweet. Sometimes guys, it's not even about the huge things. It's about these little things that show that you really truly care and you feel what the person is going through, you know? So maybe, may, may we all have the, um, may we all make the choice to do these small kind gestures for the people that we love to make them feel like we're in it with them, whatever it is. And uh, it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna appreciate my mom and, and uh, be grateful for her. But what I'm thinking for tonight is since it's supposed to be some, it's supposed to be community day, community day, it depends on when I get home. But I think what I'm gonna do is watch some of my Twitch Sings videos. I swear, I'm so behind in my Twitch Sings videos. And then maybe I will play some Until Dawn. But I shall see. We shall see. Um, either way, I hope you have a beautiful day. A wonderful day. It's uh, kind of um, rainy here and gloomy, but it's bearable cold, and I'm I'm fine with that. I took off my winter jacket and I put my other mild winter jacket, which is a good progression, progression in, in a good direction. Um, so yes, God willing, I'll see you tonight. Stay scrumptious and Raven. Out. Bye, guys.